Hmm. I wonder who this could be. Who is it? Hi, I'm a million dollars. I was looking for Jeff Kilgore. Do you know where I can find him at? Oh my God, thank you universe. <laughs> What's up, family? It's your man, Jeff Kilgore, back again, bag of goodies. You already know how we do with business and mine all intertwined. And today we're going to explore and find out just why the secret didn't work for you. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Now, trust me, I get it. There's a lot of doubt. If you like me, when you first saw it, you was a little bit skeptical. It sounded kind of like a fairy tale, like a pie in the sky, you know, too good to be true. And it just was something about it but if you like me also there was something in you that felt like it's something to this it's something something grabbed at you something in you felt like yeah this this could work i believe that now it didn't work for you though you tried everything that you knew how to do you you, you did what you what they said to do you tried what they said on the movie you know it just didn't work for you it just didn't turn out as they said it would, right? And so today we're gonna to explore just why that is and clear up a few myths as well, all right? Now we talked about doubt and it's natural, it's human nature to have doubt in certain things that they just don't feel right or maybe seem too good to be true. And the reason is, is because all of our lives we've dealt with each other. We're imperfect human beings. And so we're gonna let each other down People are gonna let you down all the time. You're gonna let people down all the time. Hopefully not, but it happens. We're human, right? You have doubt that creeps in all the time because we're so used to dealing with each other. It's just a natural side effect of dealing with people. You have doubts. You, you learn as you grow to never trust 100%. And you know, it becomes a difficult thing for us to do is to fully put our trust into someone or something. Doubt makes it very, very hard for the law of attraction to work. Doubt is a key component that stops people from being successful when it comes to the law of attraction and manifestation, everything that has to do with that. When you doubt, it puts a damper on how far you can go and what you can accomplish when dealing with the law of attraction because you have to believe. This is why on the movie they said you have to, you know, ask, believe, and then receive. And so if you have that, that bit of a doubt, that's, that's the first strike. That's not even the main reason that I'm gonna get at, but if, if you have that doubt, that's, that's the first strike as to why the, cert, the, the secret did not work for you. But I am gonna show you a way that you can overcome that, right? And so now, most of us, we believe in a higher power. Most people believe in God, but whether it's God or whatever, not to get into the religious aspect of it, but most people believe in God or some higher power or some higher, higher being, something uh, other than themselves, right? And so if you believe in God, then you believe that God has some kind of universal system, universe, some kind of universal system in place to take care of you, right? If you if you trust that this higher being, the, re the reason that you would believe in God or a higher power to begin with is because you believe that they have something that you don't. The higher being, it, he, she, whatever it is, has something that you don't, can do things that you can't, can protect you in ways that you can't right? Or no other human being can, right? And so this higher, this higher being or higher power, God for me, if you trust in God or this higher power, then you trust that they have a universal system in place to take care of you. Hence the universe. This helps to eliminate some of that doubt, because if I believe that God has a universal system in place to take care of me, then when I look at the law of attraction, I'm like, yep, this is what he put here for me to understand and for me to take advantage of all the good things that he has for me. So this helps to eliminate some of that doubt that you may have with the law of attraction. Just look at it like this. Your God, 
your higher power, your higher being, whatever it is that you believe in has put in place a universal system designed to take care of you once you understand it. So when you look at it like that, you can eliminate the doubt and say, you know what? The law of attraction, it is real. It can work. And you know what? As a matter of fact, it's meant for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of it. And it's going to work because it was put in place for me by God or by my higher being or higher power, whatever you choose to call it, right? So now we're that much closer. Now we did the, the visualizing and now we've overcome a hurdle when it comes to that doubt. See, that doubt was holding us back as well. Now we've overcome a hurdle when it comes to that doubt. But again, that's not even the main thing as to why the secret didn't work for you. That probably was a big part for most of us because th that doubt is something serious when it comes to activating the law of attraction. We have to overcome that. And by looking at it that way, whatever you believe in, your God, your higher power has put a universal system in place designed to take care of you. Then that doubt, you can eliminate it because the law of attraction is for you. It's put here to take care of you. It's designed for you to, to, to prosper. It's designed to take care of you in all ways, in all aspects of life. Now we've been taught that it's all about your thought and what you're thinking. And this is true. Manifestation begins with thought, but it continues with your energy, your emotions, your feelings. And the most important part of it, this is what we've been waiting on. The most important part of it is action. You have to do something. The reason that the secret didn't work for you, you ain't do nothing. Now I'm not talking about, uh, these, these small little things. I'm talking about major action, major steps towards your big goal. I mean, did you really think that you're going to visualize a million dollars and you're going to get all happy feely about a million dollars and not take any real action towards a million dollars? Now, this isn't a cup of coffee. This isn't one dollar. This isn't five dollars. This is a million dollars we're talking about. And I'm, I'm guessing that if you're like me, what you were trying to use the secret for is something major. I mean, I want to change my life, right? I've, I've seen this, this movie, read the book. I'm trying to do something major with my life with this newfound information that I have, right? And so did you really think that you're just going to visualize and you're just going to get all bubbly and feely about it and it was going to knock on your door and drop off a million dollars at your doorstep? That's not how it works. You're going to have to do some real action. And I'm talking, write that proposal, get your business plan together, get in touch with, with someone about venture capital. You're going to have to do real major action. But this is what activates everything. This is the most important key component of the entire law of attraction. You have to do something. A lot of us, we saw the movie and we saw the ask, believe and receive but we did not get to the major action part. Yes, they said, think of a cup of coffee. Yes, they said they, they, they told you to do things that were small to build that level of confidence. But when we're talking major goals, you're gonna have to do major action. And then that's when everything clicks into place. Think about this. It's all vibration. Your thoughts have vibration. Your words have vibration. And your actions have a vibration. Now, what activates the law of attraction is when the, the vibration of your thoughts, the vibration of your words, and the vibration of your actions all line up with the vibrational frequency that the universe has for you, which activ activates the law of attraction. So your vibrational thoughts, your vibrational words, and your vibrational action has to line up and mesh with the, with the universe and this is what activates the law of attraction. This is what draws things into you that you've, de that you've been desiring, that you've been imagining, that you've been wanting. This is the key here. We, we visualize, we got that feeling. We said it, we said our affirmations, we're speaking the right things, but we have to put that action behind it and that's what's gonna do it for you. All right, did you get any value out of this? I hope you did. And if so, you know how I say, squeeze that like button. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And hey, you still rocking with me at this point? You already know I appreciate you. Let's go.